Good morning, a couple minutes after six here now. Looks like it's bluebird out. We got a big mission for today. Let's get at it. We are packing all the gas today. We got the jerry can and the 11 liter oil bottle with gas in it. And then we've got four liters of oil. Another 13 liter jerry with 20 liter jerry and a 20 liter jerry and that jerry. jerry. <laughs> Man, I'm excited to get up here today. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, we had like a two hour drive this morning and now we got a long trail ride. And we'll see you guys when we get up to the mountain. Sleds are definitely overheating today. Gets a little thicker now. This is some big country. It's pretty intimidating. I like this mountain up here ahead of us. It's all dark gray rock. Not sure what kind of rock, but what's cool. Muskoka granite. That is crazy. That looks sick. Texting that we're going. So cool. Oh, whoa, that's some cool mounds up there that you guys definitely can't see, but the glacier. Looks so awesome. This trail is gonna be exhausting at the end of the day. I think we had like 50 kilometers of groom trail. Not not groom trail, sorry. Of road. And now we got a lot more of single track. Just when you think you're in the middle of nowhere, some flagging tape. So kind of the good thing today is Dallas went up here last week and scoped out the trail and just got to the Alpine basically. So today we're gonna streamline it, get right to the Alpine, and then we'll be able to actually do some exploring once we're up there. Because last time you didn't get to the Alpine, so I think it was about 4 o'clock. Oh. This is some gnarly, oh no. It's soft in the opens and then rock hard between the trees. Or wherever the snowballs fell off the trees, anyway. Well, currently it's lunchtime, even though we're still at the bottom of the mountain here. What are you guys thinking? I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I think we're starting to get close to making our ascent into the Alpine. If I had to guess, I'd say we're at 12 to 1400 meters. <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, 
creeks are here. Where to next? Up. That way or that way? Ice cave at some point today. Oh, I can see more glaciers. Oh my god! Look at that! That is amazing! Rocky. Those mountains over there are pretty cool. Just black. I guess I shouldn't hold it wide open. I should try and conserve my fuel. rocks you go they almost look like iron they're so rusty that's actually really cool oh. <laughs> there's bedrock with the glacier flowing you might think it would flow this time of year eh oh, oh my god that glacier up there is freaking amazing oh my god dude did you, did you look at that glacier See that glacier? See that glacier? See that? Oh my god! <laughs> I want to go over to that glacier there. Looks like you could ride right up through it. But... I think you can get up through that. No. You're not riding up, uh, up that peak, that's for sure. Just had some quick lunch. Realized it's already like 3.30. Close to it. So we're going to check out this glacier quick. Go check out the other glacier. And then see where we're for time. Whoa. Oh, you go. What are you doing? <laughs> This is the highest I've ever been. This is the highest I've ever been too. 
We could definitely get in that one over there. But I don't think we could get there. Looks like the mountain's giving us the finger. It's weird, you actually have traction up here. Nice. Well, it's no ice cave, but it's pretty friggin' cool. <laughs> explore some more of this but it, it is kind of sketchy exploring glaciers like this because you never know how deep one of those crevasses might be. Fast. Sorry if I've just been uh, like flabbergasted all afternoon here, guys. I'm sure the video doesn't do it justice because it is so amazing. came from over there anymore. The snow is just flowing. It's like slow motion.
Holy shit. Sketch, hey? What? A little sketch. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here you go. <laughs> You're crazy, man. I think this is what the whole glacier is, and we're just riding over top of it all. Yeah, there's just so many voids in there. Oh, we should have brought headlamps in. I got one. Wonder how far down the actual uh, like bedrock is. Dallas, like look at that piece of ice right there. Yeah. Oh, oh whoa, that is so truly. Yeah. Huh. Turn your headlight off for a sec, Jordan. Oh. Okay? Yeah? I just like, I'm getting off that piece. No, I probably wouldn't have came in here if Hugo didn't lead. <laughs> <laughs> like that that piece right, oh my God, okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Keep moving, go, 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 I got enough. And <laughs> this shit is so slippery, man. It's like, okay, I feel better, and then you look up, and it's just like, no, that doesn't look very safe. I don't even think what you're standing on it is. No, I wonder how deep it is. I wonder what's in there. Can you see in that hole? In that hole? Oh. Well, you had good intentions with that rope, Dallas, but it uh, kind of stayed out here. And then I, I like Hugo's track right above the cave, just walks right to the edge. Back to the gas drop here now, slowly getting dark, working our way at the trees. We're getting into the lowest elevation we gotta go through now. So it's gonna be the toughest riding, the iciest. And yeah, my shoulders are, are a little sore.
We made it back to the truck. 170K, low fuel lights on. My low oil didn't come on, so I didn't need the oil. Well, guys, thanks for watching today's video. I'm sure we had more fun making it than you did watching it, but yeah, solid day out there. Made it back in one piece, explored some pretty awesome stuff out there. That is the name of the game today, just explore.